a month before you died uh, on the day that she was born. That was very possibly the last day I talked to you. I know you loved me, but in the grand scheme of things, you had to know this relationship couldn't last. Oh, when you first passed me out, uh, my answer was quick. I, I think it was a, a hundred milliseconds before I said no. You had to know that with a half-life so short, we didn't stand a chance. And on that day, February 2nd, I sat on the other side of the country at a bar with a man who introduced me to philosophy. It was good to see him, to remind myself of how I wanted to live. Remembering how chemical reactions were supposed to last, I then realized the un unintended consequences of this pent-up friction between us. Try to smash the right ions from us together, see what happens, see if anything survives long enough to even measure. You know you had an uphill battle with me. Over 115 days after February 2nd, three months after you died, that was when I almost died too. Because even though you bombarded me with high excitation energy, this hot fusion would never work. And look at what was left of me. I didn't want you to die. I didn't want you to be destroyed. Did you seal your fate by trying to bond with a part of me? Or, or should I have trusted my first instincts? And I would feel alright because your devastation wouldn't hurt me so much. I wish I could have told you that this systematic elemental bombardment of us, this radioactive reaction, was only temporary. This doesn't occur in nature. We had worked so hard to merely try to make something of us. And as much as I hate to admit it, I wonder if this was never meant to be.